Hi, I'm Brandon Ryan from Cakewalk, and I'm here at the uh, Music Messe in Frankfurt, Germany. And uh, we've released a bunch of new updates for a lot of the product line, and one of the most important things we've done is added Vista support to everything, both 32-bit and 64-bit Vista. So Sonar 6.21 uh, is full Vista support, 32 and 64-bit. We've also updated Zeta to 1.5 to give it Vista support, and Rapture and Dimension Pro uh, also have full Vista support. So we're taking full advantage of everything that Vista offers, the multimedia class scheduling service, offloading the graphics to the graphics cards, uh, and we're getting very, very good performance out of it. And with the BitBridge, we can actually still run 32-bit plugins inside of the Vista 64-bit environment. So we're completely 64-bit, completely Vista capable, the entire product line, basically. Uh, so we're pretty excited about that. And uh, we've also uh, added some new things to some of the virtual synthesizers. So Zeta, which is beloved by many people around the world, has uh, been updated to version 1.5, which lets you bring MIDI files in and actually use those as arpeggiations. Uh, and also the MIDI learning uh, has been enhanced quite a bit, as it has in Rapture, in that you can um, control your MIDI learn functions uh, pretty in depth. Uh, you can decide minim minimum and maximum. You can reverse parameters. So it gives you a lot of hands-on performance control. Um, and then uh, beyond that, uh, with Dimension Pro, we've also updated all the expansion packs and everything. So they're, they're uh, working in, uh, in Vista as well. Uh, Rapture has a whole bunch of new things in 1.1. It's a free update. And what that gives you is some new DSP transforms. Uh, so you can do things like break functions, warp, really mangle the sounds, and kind of uh, really, really do a bunch of sound design that really wasn't possible, I don't think, before. Uh, so Rapture has added not only features and, and support for Vista as well, but uh, support for uh, basically new sound making capabilities. So we're pretty excited about all that stuff. And uh, we're showing all that stuff here at the show. And of course, uh, Ederol has updated uh, their interfaces and everything to work with Vista as well. So we're basically uh, here on the cutting edge and, and loving it. So thank you very much. So here we are in Sonar uh, 6, 6.21 uh, running under Vista. Uh, Vista 64, and as you can see in the task manager, uh, we're making full use of all the multi-core. So uh, multi-processor, multi-core on the main stage, we're using a quad-core, uh, working great. And uh, also in the uh, audio options here, we now have support for the multimedia class scheduling service that lets us prioritize the audio uh, in Vista so we can tell Vista what's supposed to be important at the time. Multiprocessing here. Uh, we also have Wave RT support when those things come around. But uh, switching gears kind of over to Rapture, uh, Rapture has some pretty cool new features. Uh, here's a sound in Rapture uh, that's kind of a little buzzy buzzy lead type thing. But we now have these new DSP transforms up here. So you can actually reroute uh, the different filters and the DSP transforms for each of the six elements. And in the, the new DSP transforms include things like a, some new distortions, uh, a warp function, break function, rectify, bit decimator, bit reduction. Some of those were there before. But now there are three per element. And you can route them basically any way you want. So you can really alter the sound of the um, of everything quite a bit. So let's go ahead and turn this one like to tube distortion and we'll bit decimate. Let's do warp on this one and we'll bit decimate this one and we'll do bit reduction maybe right there. And we actually have some new filters too. There's some uh, state variable filters that have a more kind of analog sound. So maybe we'll use one of those as well. And we have control of that. And, and then we can go ahead. I'll use another hand here. So by you know reorganizing the DSP transforms, you can really um, kind of mangle stuff and do some really, really interesting stuff with Rapture. So Rapture already sounded great before, but now it's capable of really quite a bit more. Um, and uh, the new MIDI Learn functions uh, here as well. Uh, with MIDI Learn, uh, you can actually add MIDI control, and you can even have different MIDI configurations as well. So your MIDI Learn functions, you can actually change that, and you can have your own custom configurations. So it makes Rapture even more performance-oriented uh, than ever before, and there are actually now tempo-synced envelope generators. Uh, so you can actually put this status on. You can sync to anything up to 128th notes. Uh, and then the step generators have a new shot mode that basically plays through the step generator one time uh, and then plays through it again with another key press. And then there's also the step mode, which every time you hit a key, it goes through one step of the, uh, of the step generator. So, and of course, there are dozens of those things in all the six elements. So Rapture's been enhanced quite a bit. Free update, uh, version 1.1 available on the website.